has TikTok programming like culture improved? Let's find out. Hey, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. That's great. Yeah, so overall you're performing well. Your reviews have been positive, no complaints. That's great to hear. Do you have anything else you want to discuss today? No, not really. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I don't have anything else either. We'll circle back in a few months, okay? Sounds good, talk soon. Yeah, I've had those meetings. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Everything's good, can't complain. Nice. Just give me one second, okay? Sure. Hello? Hi? Look, I don't have good news for you today. You know, I think there is nothing worse in life when you get a meeting that also has HR on it. Okay? Like, I actually feel for this video. I genuinely feel for this video. The moment HR appears in a meeting, I'm like, we're, it's so over. It's so over every time. Yeah, so I'll just get straight to the point. After careful consideration and discussion, we have decided to not move forward with your employment here. Is this really happening? With some organizational shifts happening, we feel like you're just not ready to move on with us. You said I was good. Is there anything we can do about this? What do you mean? Like, can this be fixed in any way? Oh, uh, no. Do you have anything else you want to talk about? I guess not. All right, then we'll have someone reach out to you about your exit instructions. Goodbye. Good luck with everything. Good luck. Yeah. I mean, I guess we just watched a video of someone pretending to be fired. All right. TikTok. TikTok programming, let's go. Okay, here we go. Next one, hardest code to understand. <laughs> Welcome to Costco. I love you. I forgot to turn off alerts. <laughs> Forget your ears. Uh, I'm going to say that I just cringed. I cringed hard. I'm cringing. I, I, I can feel it. It's, I, I'm having, I don't know what to do with what I feel. Okay. Like, do, do I need to talk to somebody? Do I need to go somewhere and talk to a professional? No. Okay. I don't know what this guy's doing, but this motion, this not programming. Okay. Whatever this motion is with the screen and the darkness and everything. This isn't programming, people. We want a need a place to stay. Where I can cover up my face. Don't cry. I am just a me. I am just a me. <laughs> I don't. I, I get the joke. You start off, you're happy, right? You're happy. Things are great. And you're just programming stupid stuff. And then as time goes on, you feel horrible. You look horrible. And you're programming complicated things. Okay. When the code actually works. I'm pretty sure my thing is wrong. But it passed. What the fuck? Why is it working? It should have. Am I a genius? <laughs> what? Huh? Okay, let's let's put a different example. Yo, like this shouldn't work. This should not work. Like, why is it working, bro? Wake up! You shouldn't. Work. <laughs> why is it? You know, the thing that mostly gets me is not when something does or does not work like that. But when I put in a print statement and it starts working, that's truly a moment of pure WTF. Like that is emotional pain. It is, it is, it is awful. I absolutely hate it. I sit there and wonder, am I even a programmer? How have I done this? The quantum physics of programming? Absolutely. And it happened to me recently where I put in two print statements and things started working again. And then I just... And then, and then I just, I, I become emotionally bruised. Can we stop doing this? No, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more, okay? Here we go. Time out, time, time out, time out, time out. 
first off, what what's in there? Why does it look so creamy? Why does it look so thick? Okay, so I got to ask. When you are learning to program and you got some sort of Elgato stream deck, what's going on here? If you have to press a button on a stream deck to open up the thing you want, maybe you got to find a better optimization here, okay? I feel like you could, we could get this better. I, I am positive. We can get this better. We got to figure out something a little bit, you know, a little nicer way. Let's use the computer. Let's get, you know, I think what we're missing here is a good window manager. I could fix her. I could fix her. I could get her a window manager and Tmux. I could fix her, okay? If you just give me the chance, I could do it. You know, I think I realize why TikTok hates me. I think I understand it now. All right, one, we're going to do one more. Realistic day of an engineer. Yeah, so for me, yesterday I did what I was supposed to do yesterday, and today I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do today, and that's pretty much it from my side. <laughs> this literally makes no sense. How's that? Again, I, I, I actually understand why TikTok hates me. <laughs> um, I like to I like to work hard and study and, and think of new things. Um, I did like his daily stand up though. I did stuff that I did yesterday, and today I'll be doing stuff I did today. I love that. That was beautiful. Because you know what most daily stand-ups are? They're just people like, oh, yeah, so yesterday, <laughs> you know what was funny? My dog, Rufus. And then it's just like, oh, shut up. Just say what you got to say. No one wants to be here. Shut up. No one cares about your dog, Rufus. It's just the worst. I don't want to do any of that. I don't want to do any of it. Fucking Rufus. <laughs> I don't want any of it, okay? Well, I think that after watching a total of seven TikToks, I have relearned why I don't like TikTok. The name is I still don't even get... I don't even get TikTok yet, okay? I don't get it. I, I, I didn't get it before. I still don't get it today, okay? I'm too old or too young. I'm one of the two, and I don't know which one it is, but I'm not the correct age for whatever this is. Whatever just happened on my screen, I'm either a boomer or a zoomer. One of the two. A gen.